Ambassador Meg Whitman clarified U.S. growing interest towards Kenya, becoming its mainstay in the East Africa community. Welcome to Zafarani TV, a Kenyan online political platform where I talk about the Kenyan politics and what happens within the political circles. If this is your first time to be here, welcome on board. Take a few seconds, hit the subscribe button, and please don't forget to hit the notification button so that every time I upload new content, you'll be notified. During a roadshow in New York, the business magnet told its U.S. citizens that President William Ruto's administration had positioned itself well, increasing its prospects as an investment hub. According to Whitman, U.S. President Joe Biden also picked Kenya over other countries due to its democracy, rising to be one of the most stable and free nations in East Africa. Kenya was also considered the gateway to the East African market with over 500 million consumers. The country's airport, including Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, according to the renowned diplomat, served more than 40 international airlines. According to Whitman, U.S. investors view Kenya youth as well-educated with a proper understanding of the English language. Besides a well-informed workforce, Whitman insisted that Kenya's energy prospect attracts investors with renewable energy as one of the areas the U.S. was exploring in President Ruto's administration. He, however, she, however, urged the government to clamp down on graft where she indicated it was affecting service delivery in different aspects of the Kenyan economy. What do you think about Ambassador Meg Whitman on the...